Hey, what's up everyone, welcome back to AppGeeker channel. And today, we're going to share some helpful tips for Mac users to record the internal audio on their computer. We all know that Mac computers are widely known for their sleek design and excellent performance. But when you want to capture the computer audio on your Mac, you will probably find out it's like a mission impossible, as macOS won't allow you to record any internal media or system sound due to its privacy and security policy. In fact, your Mac's default app QuickTime Player lets you record everything through your microphone, but you can still make use of some useful audio recording software to help you record computer audio on your Mac or MacBook or iMac. So, without further ado, let's get started. When using the free and built-in solution QuickTime Player, the first thing you need for computer audio recording on your Mac is to get a little help of a lightweight add-on program called Soundflower. It can change your Mac's audio settings and reroute your computer sound. In other words, it changes your Mac's audio output to input so that you can launch the QuickTime Player to capture the internal audio as a sound source. To do that, first you need to download and install the Soundflower plugin on your Mac. Then open the Apple menu, go to System Preferences or System Settings on some old macOS versions, get into the Sound option. Next, on the pop-up window, click the Output tab at the top. From this list, select Soundflower 2CH as the output device. After this configuration, you can now start the process of recording computer audio from your Mac system, media player, or any sound you're playing on your desktop. So, run the QuickTime player, and from the upper left corner, choose Files, and then New Audio Recording. When this capturing panel appears, click the tiny drop-down arrow next to the record button. As you can see from here, we can now select the Soundflower as our recording source. It will enable QuickTime to capture your max audio output. So now, play whatever you want to extract audio from. It could be a YouTube video, a live stream, or an online lecture. And when you're ready, click the red record button to begin recording. It's pretty easy. And when you want to stop it, just hit the record button again. Once complete, you can save the computer audio recording on your Mac or share it with your iPhone or iPad, depending on what you need. And don't forget to reset the audio settings on your Mac or you won't be able to record your microphone sound the next time you use QuickTime's audio recorder. However, if you want a more direct approach to record your Mac audio without using an add-on like Soundflower, here we'll recommend an all-in-one audio recording software for macOS, the AppGeeker Screen Recorder. It's a powerful screen and audio recorder that enables every Mac user to record their computer screen and computer audio at the same time or separately. And it's very easy to use, look at its simple interface, even a beginner knows how to start and how to stop the recording. So, first, you can get it from appgeeker.com, I'll also drop the link down below this video. And then, run it on your Mac desktop. Go ahead and choose the audio recorder mode. For Mac audio only, turn on the system sound. If you'd like to add your own voice or external narration, toggle on the microphone option right here. All right now, play anything that you want to record audio from, such as a music video, an online meeting, a phone call, anything. And simply hit the rec button to start. And that's it. This floating bar will show you how long you have been recording, and you can pause or stop the recording whenever you want. When you finish, take a preview here. You may also clip it to your desired length and save it on your Mac for future use. And there's also another audio recorder for Mac named Audacity. Just like the QuickTime player, it requires an additional plugin like Soundflower to capture the internal audio on your Mac. To create a sound, only recording, download and install Audacity on your Mac. And make sure you have set up the Soundflower already. If you don't know to, just drag the slider to our first method and follow the instructions step by step. All right, then, on the Audacity screen, you're gonna select the audio setup from the top panel and then choose Soundflower 2CH from the recording device list. 
This gets your Mac audio recorded from the system or desktop apps. And then, on the left, click the record button on the toolbar to begin recording. You can also pause and stop the audio recording at any time. When you're finished, remember to save the audio file on your Mac. You can do it by clicking File and Export Audio. It's relatively simple, but Audacity only works for audio-only recording. And you'll have to use a sound add-on to capture your Mac's computer audio. So, now you've got three quick ways to record computer audio on a Mac. Simple pick the one that works best for you and make your own recordings. Hope you found this video helpful. And we'll keep sharing many useful video tutorials like this. If you like it, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.